Teams traveling to Columbia for the NAIA National Cross Country Meet arrived today. The races are on Friday, but athletes are here early for a series of events leading up to the main events. Kimmy Waits' Mickey Doolittle shows the economic impact the races have on Columbia and the events host Columbia College. Mickey? Columbia's biggest economic events typically revolve around MU football games. However, there are smaller events that have big impacts on the local economy too. This week, hundreds of people race to the heart of mid-Missouri. <laughs> Roughly 800 athletes, all competing for the same crown. We're excited to come back. This event is expected to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars for the city. There's that direct economic impact, which is almost $900,000 for that one day event, which is very significant. And the gains are expected to continue even after this week. We host a high profile premier event like this. It helps establish Columbia with the reputation of a destination that can really host these big events. And event host Columbia College is capitalizing on that momentum. Four years ago, five years ago, we put in a bid to host the national championship uh, here in Columbia. This won't be the last time runners converge on mid-Missouri. We ended up getting a bid for 2024, 2027, and 2030 on a rotational basis. One spokesperson says the Gans Creek course is a significant reason Columbia was chosen. Uh, it's incredible. It, it allows our student athletes uh, to train, uh, to prepare. It allows other communities to be jealous of us. Men and women will compete in separate races and coaches say they are ready to go. Throwing off everything that hinders and any expectations and just do their best and run free and run for run for each other. So yeah, whatever happens, whatever the result is, whether that's you know really awesome individual performances or team performances, I just want them to, to run free. The races start Friday with the men's race at 10.30, followed by the women's championship at 11.30. In the studio, Mickey Doolittle, KOMU 8 News.